Yellow.
Hello everyone, welcome to Rise of Patience. This is the best of three series between Tough Raider, who is here as Tough Pakistan, and PLA Angelo. This is the part of the LAT Pro series. The players have not sent me the ban and pick list, so, so just to avoid confusion, I'm going to remove that. Uh, the bar on the top which talks about the ban and pick so yeah i don't have the ban pick list so we just assume that every player has picked uh, unbanned nations here angelo has picked germans and pakistan has a raider i'll just call him raider since that's how he registered in the tournament he has picked mongols Mongols and Germans are very nice. Both of them are nice. I I do lean towards Germans a little bit. So that's a plus nine woodcutter cam. Very nice one. For for uh, Raider as well, a plus nine woodcutter cam. One good thing about Mongols. So here we see that Angelo is not hogging any border push so raider gets all of his uh, food bonus that the mongols are supposed to provide he's getting 40 he's getting about let's see 
he's getting about 15 extra food income from the Mongol bonus on this side. But the German bonus is still more powerful because every time your farms complete, you get 30 food instead of the, uh, 20 food, which is which means that every time a farm completes, you get you have more than the amount of food you need to build a villager. While for a generic civilization or any other civilization, when a farm completes, you have less food than you need to complete a villager. So it eventually means that if you are, if you are Germans, you can continuously produce villagers without stopping at all. That's a big boost. So let's see. Uh, Angelo has got good amount of mountains and same for uh, Raider. Angelo here has got silk. Now that's a good thing because silk for Germans means I would I would definitely go for commerce too in such a game seeing how closed the borders are uh, it will be very difficult for a raider to attack angelo at such a point also sugar here for angelo great rares cotton and citrus for raider so obviously the uh, nation the rares look better for angelo so julie has set a four minute time point for placing your library and both the sips have been able to place their libraries that's a good one in fact i see that raider can go civic one yes he's going for civic one that's a very good idea and now raider controls silk a very, a very good decision very good decision by raider so here raider has just put down his market he's going for military level one on the other side already barracks are coming already for uh, angelo hey uh tiger in the chat but something tells me that the raider is not building enough villagers because his wood income should already be 100 as you can see for angelo he's there at 100 angelo is going for some raids Let's see what he does not know. Actually, he knows that there's a city. He just doesn't know if there's barracks or not. He's going for some raids on this side. And the first raids come from Angelo. Nice one. Although I've, I'm not sure. Maybe Angelo should kill the citizen while he's there. Never mind. Angelo is going to return home. Angelo is also he tried to raid sugar but I have no clue why raider is not using sugar that's one of the best prayers to have in the game now I also see why raider did not have villagers on woodcutter camp because he was planning to use cotton uh, well I, I, I really don't like that decision but anyway now he's getting a market on this side so that he can use sugar good idea Angelo here has already got science one and is aging. So nine minute twenty two and Angelo is already aging. Despite all that, despite all that, I think that just shows you how strong Germans are. Even though Angelo doesn't have any rare resources that helps him. So I'll take something back from the previous previous time I said. I said that this map is too closed for regular battles, but since Raider has placed his second city very very close to Angelo, now I think this is an opportunity for Angelo to take out this city. So let's see what Angelo's plan is he going for is he going for an attack or is he going for wonder? Well Raider is definitely going for wonder. Here comes the spot stable and military too so I think I know what Angelo will try to do everything's good except that this city is looking very vulnerable I wouldn't be surprised if this city gets taken and here comes siege factory yes this is going to be your attack on Peshawar for sure no doubt about it 
no doubt about it and raider is not ready the raider is not ready i think raider was expecting an attack on this city that's why he has tower and a lookout but he completely ignored that this this city the city is so vulnerable at this point and the problem is that his senator is some reason in the very wrong bad place and there goes the city i am not surprised at all raider played horrible and this was bound to happen so here's raider with all of his villages this is all of his villages he will try for a militia push and some of his villages just went back this is horrible why are they going back if he's fighting he needs to send all of them back and really really also nice raids back so look at that he's keeping them busy everywhere so not a good use of militia i must say that some militia just standing over there also the senator could have should have been there with the militia initially uh, what what i feel good about is that if raider can survive if he can if he can hold the city maybe he has a chance if he loses the city then angelo can come from this side and just siege down the colossus easily i still see a lot of militia for a lot of militia for angelo i mean for raider not much for angelo angelo took use all of his militia right here so he is in a similar spot oh and angelo yeah he loses the city although I, i'll still say that angelo is doing much better than raider because he's got a 45 knowledge income and 120 wood income very good so that this is this is the kind of survival i expect players uh, to show us because most of the time people just resign after after they lose the city but raider he he's brought all of his militia and he and he tried to fight unless he had even if there is a, a 1% chance that he can survive you should use that and i i like that raider raider he did not give up very nice one there because i i'll i'll say that angelo is not in a good spot at this point he is he has a low food income Angelo needs Angelo needs to quickly fill up these farms and start try and attack again. Meanwhile, I would suggest Raider to place a tower behind if he can. Also, Raider needs to eject the senator. The senator being outside will provide some. It will provide some benefit. Because the senator provides plus five armor to every building around it, it will delay the re reduction of the city by a little while. Raider still stuck at seventy food income versus fifty, so he's a, he Raider actually has a better food income than Angelo, thanks to the Mongol bonus. And I just noticed that Angelo is also using amber here. Uh, Angelo doesn't have much. He he lost so many villagers during that militia rush that he actually doesn't have much much to do here. That's the second tower coming from uh, Raider. He lost one already, <laughs> and here comes an ambush. I hope Raider is expecting that. And nice mouse style ambush. If Angelo holds it, that will be it for Raider. 
and Zillow's back to his good eco 125 food 125 wood doing great at this point however micro is not very good his some of his units are still hidden Some, somewhat I, I feel Angelo can win this fight I don't think he needs to he needs to go back also if Raider destroyed the siege that would have been very good he should have used his light caps to destroy the siege and now and now these units are too far out they need to go back this was this was a bad move by Raider I think I think this will cost him the game Very very bad move. All of his units were out in front with no protection and now Angelo can go and take the city. Oh. Angelo has 525 knowledge knowledge in bank. He's doing very good. AVF fam in the chat. Let's see what's the plan for uh, Raider here. Raider is getting a second city. He's still not given up. Angelo is already started. He's already started to use this, the sugar merchant. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. This was bound to happen. He's going to. He's going to take out the tower, and he's also going to take out the Colossus. I, I would take out the Colossus if I was him. Angelo, I mean here, Raider has taken some uh, some extra land, so it gives him more food. Hey Kaitaro, welcome to the stream. Now there's no tower to protect these, and the perfect time to just go and slaughter all these villages. This is a perfect time, man. Angelo is having a Angelo is having a very good time with Germans. What's the plan? Oh, Angelo is going for medieval age. 24 minutes. That's a, it's a very long time. But he, yeah, the Raider, Raider is going to give up at this point, for sure. This, I'm expecting GG from Raider now. There is no point in continuing. He's not close to aging by any means. Oh wait, he's not giving up. And here comes T. Very well played by both the players. Raider underestimated that he had to protect this city. If he had put a tower in this city earlier, I think he had some chance. But anyway, very very well played. And let's see uh, game number two. This is game number two. The loser last game was Raider. Raider decided to pick Australian Outback. Australian Outback has been the choice of many players in game number two or three, as we have seen throughout this tournament. One two for Raider and Americans for Angelo. Maybe I'll suggest one two. One two would be a good nation for this for this map. They don't get uh, so they shine very well on the late game since in the late game they have uh, the population advantage. But I would still pick 
as we have seen throughout the tournament, British is the best nation on a map like this. The best nation. So I would have loved to see one of them pick British. But anyway. See here, Angelo has got Silk again. He's using some hack. And he's got Sugar. Well, let's see who will get Sugar. If I had to guess, it's more likely that and uh, Raider will pick up Sugar again, like the last time. Raider also has Furs next to him. So there are two library raiders on this map. One for each player. There's Horses here. And I have to say, Furs is much better than Silk. But on this map, you can use Silk right away because of all the wealth and then you can uh, buy food from the wealth so silk right just on this map i'd say silk is also a very nice uh, rare to have first overall is a better rare because you always want to go for a military and get that armor upgrade even for h2 you want to get the uh, military to as soon as possible so here we can see that Raider is already ahead, he has his library put down, in fact that's a very fast library. He's going to finish his library before 4 minutes, Angelo has not even put down his library yet. And it looks like Commerce 1, Commerce 1 is a good idea on this map, you want to start using water as soon as possible. Hey Tiger, yes it looks like Angelo is in shape, but this this one, this particular game I am not sure how Angelo will do, because it's it looks like... Angelo is slow compared to Raider and Raider is going for military level 1 a very good idea if he goes for military level 1 because it's obvious that Angelo since he picked since Angelo picked civic 1 he will try to go commerce next and try to use water using water means using wood so he will not have enough wood to place a barracks that means if Raider raids him right now Angelo will be in deep trouble. Very, very good planning. There's three units from Raider. He's already at 100 food. Angelo here is also making. He's so as, as you can see, he's making a more fisherman. And but somehow he does have he does have the wood to place a barracks. That's not a bad idea. The raider just found out it found out the wood line perfect perfect and that wood line is going to get raided let's see does angelo see that angelo does not see that yet and here starts sorry angelo is putting down his barracks right here I think this is a this is a great start for Raider. I could not I could not be asking for a better start. One villager down. Another villager could go down. Uh, second villager down. That that was a very successful raid man. Excellent. Excellent. Meanwhile, what's Raider planning. Raider has got his three cities here already. He's, he's shining at 100, 100. Awesome job, man. Very good job. Very good job. In fact, I would I would even love for Raider to go and use that silk. Will will be excellent, man. If he, if he goes use the silk, I'll that that will be some pro moves. Bad idea for Raider to have his heavy infantry in front. Angelo had to make two archers and a slinger and he lost a lot of his wood income. And here comes sea raids now. Time for some sea raids.
man amazing play amazing play by raider i think this game should be in his pocket i don't but also remember americans americans do better in age 2 with the free with the instant wonder and the free government that's when they start to look better so let's let's give some time to angelo before he can when he can start using his nation properly and here comes the colossus he's going for senate now Meanwhile, on this side, three universities, three universities by Raider. Awesome, man. Really, really awesome. Three universities. He's at 80, 85 knowledge income versus zero for Angelo. Meanwhile, there are water raids going on from both sides here. The Raider going for something, and here's also a Raider. He's, he was chasing that light ship. Angelo is now starting to use some of his... Now, I have to I have to say the only rare in this whole map that has... The only rare in the whole map that has uh, knowledge income is Wool right here. Also, a very stupid move by Raider. He has four of his units garrisoned inside, but where is the merchant? He towered sugar, but he forgot to use <laughs> sugar. That's so stupid. Hey, Okan. 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 I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. But welcome to the stream. Hanging Gardens for Raider. Hanging Gardens is an excellent rare, rare, uh, wonder man. Especially for Bantu since they don't, they don't care about Colossus. Hanging Gardens means even more knowledge than they already have. The water raid still continue here. And Raider doing a great job at scouting, making sure he knows what Angelo is up to. Angelo has not done that yet. Raider still not using it. Is he sending it now? Yes, he's finally sending it. He's got four units there. I don't think these four units should be in this tower, at least now. Sixty-five knowledge versus hundred and ten knowledge. Maybe now a Raider should get that science one done. Raider going for a siege factory. Angelo trying to get a third city, but and yeah, he, he did get it. He did get it. Good job there. And. Good move by Raider, he is getting a temple so that th this tower is still in his territory because you can bribe a tower, an opponent's tower in your own territory. I wonder if a no, Angelo does know about horses. And ni nice two sieges from Angelo, he is coming for an attack. I mean, yeah, for Raider. Raider is also aging 170 knowledge versus 105. The Ecos look similar except except the knowledge income and knowledge income is way about 65 more knowledge for for Angelo. Let's see three sieges, three sieges for a uh, raider. The only thing I would suggest for him is to add more units because he doesn't have much units. Three sieges is a very good idea. He will he will take this out very easily. Yes. 
Angelo also got attrition there and uh, luckily Angelo was in time to protect the city. Let's see, unit numbers about the same, maybe a Raider has a little more number of units than Angelo. In my opinion, a Raider should be able to capture this. Raider should be able to capture this with 3 sieges and all that, all that things he has should not be a problem. The only problem here is that there's a lot of idle time and for some reason the supply wagon should, is not far enough. Angelo using his senator's bribe ability to create chaos in the raider's army. Nice, actually very nice defense by Angelo. I would have I would have said I would have guessed that they he could yeah, I, I thought he would have lost this engagement, but very well played. Angelo getting his own siege factory, he's still way behind in the knowledge game, 110 versus 170. Angelo needs to fill up this, oh he is doing that, he is doing that. And I'm sure Angelo realizes that the opponent is, has hanging garden. Angelo is a very polished player, he's not, he's not a pushover, that's for sure. Angelo played in the PLA team in the Nomadium to remember PLA Angelo's team was the third they backed the third position in Nomadium 2. So he's he's a very good player. And Raider 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 did not show up in he, he did not register in Nomadium 2, but he, he's a very good player as well. So here Military level 3 for, followed by tactics for Angelo I think he will just go for a science level 3. Angelo also starting pyramids perfect man perfect. He needs all these wonders if he is to fight one to on this map because check this out Angelo is actually about ready for age 4. The only problem with this attack is the lack of a supply wagon and also that I would have loved to see I would have loved to see Raider protect his army right now and use that in age 4 because this was a such a horrible move man why is he fighting under attrition in open territory and why does he even have siege here he needs to protect these siege why did he bring a siege to yeah very very bad idea very bad idea he lost all of his advantage here. Another thing I have to ask is why is there no fourth city? Raider's strength lies in the extra city that one to get, so he needs to get that fourth city and spam more scholars. That's how he he should be utilizing the one to bonus. Yeah, Angelo is still very far away from H4. Angel, Angelo captured the city for a moment. He got the he got the capture plunder, and then he's going back. Not bad at all. There's a there's a big problem with Angelo's army composition. It's mostly archers and cavalry. This army composition can be easily, easily countered by a full cavalry opponent cap. So if, if a raider goes for full on cavalry, then he can actually, he can actually destroy the army. And Angelo is also coming on water with a lot of units, man. A lot of units. He's got two upgraded heavy ships and one light ship to protect them from, just to protect them from, uh, The fire ships, yeah. 
as a result getting the tactics upgrade. Some some very bad decisions made by Raider. Apart from that, I think he did very well. Even now, he is way ahead in the knowledge game, and I think I think he he can definitely win if he manages to save this army for H4. Because he has he already has the knowledge for H4. He just is waiting for food. And the problem is that he spent so much food in making villagers, losing some villagers and the army that now he has to wait. He should not have to wait at this point. Angelo is getting his fourth city. So Angelo is getting his fourth city at the same time as the one to bear getting his fourth city. That's sad man. I, I have to say, Raider should have won this game. He should have won this game. I am, I am disappointed. And Raider has this one heavy cavalry doing uh, lying head doing nothing. What's up with this cavalry? At this rate, at this rate, I don't, I don't know if aging will do any good to Raider because first, with Science Level Three, you get these Granary upgrades, especially with the Hang Gun. So he should go for that so that he can maximize that food and Yeah, he should, he should definitely go for that. At this point, he lost so many fishes not looking good for Raider. Nice raids by Angelo. He did the, he did the same in the last game. He had multiple raiding sites and he's doing the same again. Uh, Raider does not know that there is a castle here. He's going to find out very soon though. There is a general here and Raider just decided to ignore that. This is a this is a a, a very good gunpowder army. No way, no way. Uh, Raider is going to beat that. Raider has also not upgraded his heavy knights. So yeah, I think this is GG now. Very well played by Angelo. Very well played by Angelo. The Colossus gave him the the extra population limit that one to get, and then getting the pyramids gave him the extra city limit that one to get so he he just narrow he just reduced all the gap to between A americans and one two very well played that means angelo goes in the next round with a score of two zero and he dropped it the score i just realized Awesome play there. Uh, congratulations to Angelo. Now he goes to second round and he will be playing a better opponent this time uh, who has also cleared round one. Thank you all for joining. I'll I'll have to fill up the rest of time so I'll be playing some Age of Empires too. Uh, but this is all for the Rise of Nation stream. See you all. Bye bye.
Yes. مستعد صياد نعم نعم صياد صي صياد I 
يستحقون عن الطعام امر بناء نعم اهلا باحثنا عن الطعام امر اهلا مستعد باحثنا عن الطعام بناء نعم نعم بناء مستعد نعم صحيح نعم بناء اهلا امر صحيح سأسمع حطاب امر نعم حطابه حطابه مستعد سأفعل مستعد صحيح نعم صحيح
جاري حتى الناقل أهلا بن بن ناقل حسن عيد الناقل بن ناقل أمر حسن سأطلع Yes.
Thank <laughs> you. 